In a universe where materials make up everything, there are those who dare to defy the scientific paradigm in order to create a stronger world. Coming this fall, two brave souls will journey down the path of selective laser melting, or as it's known in the industry, S. I think I may need a sip of water. Oh, that's better. Where was I? Oh yes, SLM is an additive manufacturing method that uses lasers to center powdered metal into solid parts. All materials have one thing in common, surface roughness. Surface roughness attributes to the structural integrity of the part or structure. The more surface roughness, the more likely nucleation sites for cracks will develop. This sort of fatigue can be witnessed in old structures or untreated metals. SLM can produce lattice structures that are capable of withstanding the same load as their solid counterparts, with 80 to 90% less volume. However, the manufacturing of metallic lattice structures with high strength and low density is complex costly and difficult through current processes causing outbreaks of frustration. In addition, it is difficult to measure the surface roughness of a cross-sectional area of the lattice due to the size of the probes available. That's where we come in. We have a bracket that was produced on the SLM machine located on campus. The sample part contains printing orientations that include parallel, perpendicular, and 45 degrees to the build plate. We currently have access to a profilometer, a vit inspection machine, and coordinate measuring machine, or CMM, available via the metrology lab located in building 41. The profilometer is a great way to find the average surface roughness of a sample. The probe of the profilometer sweeps across the face of the part and calculates the mean roughness. This method is useful when you would like to know if a part is in spec or not. However, it does not provide a point-by-point -point representation of the entire surface area. In addition, the probe is limited by its reach and clearance, which has caused us to modify the sample part so that we can produce an accurate measurement. The visual inspection system helps to inspect the part's features in fine detail. Although the resolution is outstanding at 0.3 micrometers, it cannot accurately measure the height of the deviations comprising the surface roughness. Lastly, we have the CMM equipment, which measures the part's profile in two dimensions using a stylus. While the stylus is not ideal to measure the roughness of the lattice because of its size versus the cross-sectional area of the lattice, it works well enough for the solid part that we are analyzing. Using the metrology available to us, we plan to measure the surface roughness of the bracket using the visual inspection system and the CMM, and then compare the results with those from the profilometer. With this correlation, we are proposing to determine an efficient optical method that can be used to measure the surface roughness of a metal foam lattice.